Excuse me, sir. Do you have a moment to tell us about why you're here today? Well, a couple of reasons. Number one, the pipeline, obviously. I want to see it rerouted. And number two, I need to stand with my Native American brothers and sisters. They stood with me in Vietnam. They stood with American forces throughout all our world wars. And uh, it's simply a crime. What the American government, American government is doing, what the American people are allowing the American government to do. So it's time we stood up and we said something. And we did something. What do you folks hope to achieve by going close to the backwater bridge today? Uh, to tell you the truth, I don't really know what's going to happen except that we're showing up. And if the people who are in control of the pipeline decide to disgrace themselves again like they did a couple of weeks ago by soaking people in freezing weather, they're going to have to soak American veterans too. They're going to disrespect those. They're going to disrespect Native Americans. They're going to disrespect American veterans too. Thank okay. you so much, sir. Thank you. Have a good day. I believe they've already started moving down there, sir. So you may have to move out and go catch up. Okay, hi, I'm Tom Fenario. I'm here in Standing Rock, North Dakota. And over my shoulder, over yonder, it's hard to tell from this vantage point, but you can see that uh, dozens, maybe over a hundred of veterans are congregating, they're mobilizing. They're gonna be making their way over to where the barricades uh, are, or used to be, uh, by the Backwater Bridge, which was the area where there was, uh, well, multiple conflicts, one in October 27th, another November 20th, which is infamous for the use of um, water hoses or cannons, depending on who you ask. Uh, veterans have already started making their way down towards the uh, bridge area, and uh, right now we're just getting reactions from the vets who are coming by, and uh, we'll be heading down there soon enough ourselves. Aboriginal People's Television Network. The veterans. We're already heading out.
one recent uh, update from this past weekend is that police have uh, asked protesters, water protectors, I should say, from uh, they have asked them to stay away south of the backwater bridge. So uh, seeing veterans and water protectors head towards the bridge is of perhaps some concern to the police, but so long as they should stay off of it, they should stay peaceful. Uh, we'll see what the plans are once we uh, head over there. And uh, the agreement, uh, the police actually did remove barricades from the backwater bridge. Uh, and the idea is that the barricades will stay removed and the police will give a buffer zone provided water protectors do not go on the bridge. So we'll see what happens once the veterans make their way down there. Hi, what do you have to tell us? Hey guys, my name is Artie. I'm with the Lakota People's Law Project. It was just announced earlier today that Energy Transfer Partners is going to go underneath Lake Oahe in defiance of the Army Corps of Engineers announcement made yesterday that they're denying the easement. So a lot of people here in this camp are excited. They're celebrating. Last night there were fireworks. There were news stories that yesterday made that the tribes won, that the people won against the pipeline. That's not true. They're still going. A lot of people here are getting ready to leave. We need to stay here united against this pipeline. There's a lot of people who think it's over. They think we won. That's just not true. Yesterday, David Archambault, uh, the chairman of the Sandy Rock Sioux Tribe, made an announcement saying, you know, we won, that we can go to our families now. We can go home to our families. We can't go home to our families just yet because the pipeline is still going to go through. Uh, Energy Transfer Partners does not care about the easement. So how are, please stay here. Yeah. How are they able to not obey the, the uh, denial of easement? I'm not an attorney. I cannot speak on behalf of that, but I do have, uh, I'm with the Lakota People's Law Project. One of our attorneys can speak on behalf of that. If you find me later, we can uh, give you that interview. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you. So we'll work on confirming that, whether or not the uh, transfer, transfer energy partners will be disobeying the, the, the denial of easement. We'll see about that. We'll work on getting uh, confirmation on that. There's standing rocks waiting to happen all over Turtle Island. Oh. Yeah, so we need so we stop it here. We need everybody to come and go from place to place. We need the celebrities to come and get arrested with us, stand with us, or die in with us. That's what I, I challenge the celebrities, you know, all the ones that have been here saying, I'm standing with Standing Rock to actually go out there on the front lines and, you know, or maybe do a peaceful die in on the, you know, front of the White House. That would be a really good, good way to. Chief Riverwind, yes, sir. would you mind telling us briefly uh, what you're carrying with you? Uh, this is a sacred pipe. I'm a pipe carrier. It was taught by retired command sergeant major on the ways of the pipe. And it's bound with red and closed because this is peace. So veteran pipe carriers are coming. Again, we're going to be in the front to show that we're coming in a way of peace. 
and in a good manner when our pipes are closed, not for war, but for peace. So it's going to be a peaceful march today? Yes. Okay. And you'll be staying uh, off of the bridge, I imagine? Uh, I'll go wherever the formation goes. Thank you. We'll let you catch up then. Pardon me. Your thoughts as, as you head to the, out to the march? Say that again? Can I have your thoughts as you head out to the march? I just hope for peace and understanding in this situation. Hopefully there's no violence. No, no violence needs to be taken. There definitely won't be any on our part. We're here in peace and prayer. Can you tell me a little bit about the staff you have? My grandmother made it for me, so it's just bringing her spirit along with me. That's it. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Can I have uh, anyone slot on the march today? Pardon me, sir. Could I just have your thoughts quickly for ABC and National News about uh, the march today? Water is life. <laughs> Water is life. My name is Mato from Devil's Lake, North Dakota. My father's from Belcourt, North Dakota, Anishinaabe. It's Windigo Con, Regalia. I don't need a shield. I don't need glasses. I don't need a gas mask. I've got my staff. I've got my eagle fan. I've got my prayer ties. And I'm going to go get this snake. I got anyone's thoughts on the march today while you're marching? Protecting our people. Uh, <laughs> you're a romantic this one. Sir? Can you tell me why you're marching today, real quick? The water is life. The water is life. Anyone's on and the little animals that live on Mother Earth, the prairie dogs, the little coyotes, the foxes, they live inside. We have to protect them. It's our duty. I have your thoughts, sir, on why you're marching today, if you don't mind. I came here to, pr to protect the people that is demonstrating being intruded on their land against this pipe pipeline. My name is Thomas Red Cloud. I am a service veteran, the United States Air Force, and I'm also a Chiricahua Apache. 
This isn't just about our tribe. This is about all of us. Because what happens to us as a tribe, it will happen to you. It will happen to everyone. If you don't take a stand now, right, we stand to lose everything. Our, our way of life, our water, our world. Think about it. When you hear these words, this is now. This is not a matter of convenience. This is cold. People are suffering. There are people that are suffering more than me. And I'm willing to come out here and sacrifice my time and my body so that way others may live. I know it might not be like that, but at least I'm willing to go for it. That's how much I believe in it. That's all I have to say. Thank you. Navy, getting it done. Make way. We're all unarmed. Anyone want to share their thoughts about the march today? Your thoughts on the march, sir? Right. No comment right now. Yeah. Okay. Can I have your thoughts on why you're marching? Save yeah. people. Thanks. Ma'am, can I have your thoughts on why you're marching today? No time for all that, sir. Freedom. Human rights. Truth, justice, and the American way. Can I just hear why you're marching today, real quick, everybody? I lost my way. Marching for the people of this tribe, for their First Amendment rights, and for the right to clean water. And for all Native Americans. Thank you. Hoorah. Can I just ask why you're marching today, if you don't mind? To the bridge. Can I hear your thoughts on the march today, sir? We're here for ceremony, a public demonstration of peace and how things can work really effectively in the world that we live in. Thank you. Can I have your thoughts on why you're marching today? Yes, sir. Can I ask your thoughts on why you're marching today? Yeah, I'm marching to defend uh, every American, their constitutional rights, their human rights. Whoa. Whoa. I'm here because America has been divided for entirely too long. And it's high time that we as Americans and as people come together, we put our differences aside. Whether that be what race we are, what we re religion we are, what creed we are, it doesn't matter. I'm here to stand for people that have been uh, uh, oppressed entirely too long by our country. They've gone ignored. And uh, that's not why I fought for this country for 20 years. I didn't fight for this country for 20 years to see my fellow man oppressed in my own country. That's why I'm here. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Come. Cash Jackson of Restoring Freedom. Can I just ask that again? Cash Jackson of Restoring Freedom. Cash Jackson? Yeah, with a K. Okay. Cash Jackson. Uh, Carlton Isaac, Choctaw, Mississippi. Go for Mississippi. Stand in with my fellows. Come on. The Hunkawa Nation, down in southern South Dakota, right along the Missouri River. Where are you marching today? US, US Air Force. I guess you just said while you're marching today, you're right by the Missouri River. Oh, yeah. I was born and raised there. It taught me a lot of things, and I lived on it all my life. So I'm here for the river. My wife, too. Ida Brown. Yankton Reservation, and I'm here for to stop the pipeline. And she stopped it. <laughs> so we're here in prayer. Thank you so much. Yes. All right, let's try and turn the camera back. Over. Yes.
Didn't yeah. hear why you guys are marching today, real quick, if you don't mind. Yeah. What was that? Didn't know just hear why you're marching today, if you don't mind, real quick. Um, we are marching for the seventh generation. It's not over yet. It was a victory, but uh, we still got a lot of work to do here and across the country to save the water for everyone. So would you say today's sort of a, a show a show of strength, just being like not not only are, are the veterans here, but also we're not leaving. Yeah, we're not leaving. Yeah, um, we're still here. The government broke a lot of our treaties, and we don't know why this would be any different. You know, we gotta we gotta stay focused and ready for anything. Uh, we're from, I'm uh, from the Tanawana Indian Reservation, uh, 45 minutes from uh, Buffalo, New York. I'm from uh, Onondaga, New York, Oneida Turtle Clan. Yeah, for the Iroquois Confederacy. Cool. Yeah, how did you show yeah. me? Yeah. Uh -huh. All right. All right. Thank you. Thank you guys. Yeah, yep. Have a good day. I just wanted to say that a little while ago you were talking to the gentleman on the horse, and that was actually Cash Jackson, and Cash was actually a guest on In Focus for us last Wednesday. Uh, he's been uh, blogging about uh, Standing Rock ever since he came here, and he's been a very strong, strong supporter. So just wanted to acknowledge uh, his presence here. Glad I got to meet him. Pardon me, sir. Would you care to share your thoughts on why you're marching today? Sure. Um, I'm marching to support the water protectors, to be a water protector. Uh, I'm a U.S. Air Force veteran. I uh, served from 1966 until 1970 in Southeast Asia. Uh, I think that uh, what's happening here today is probably one of the most important things that uh, that we can we can do, and way way more important than uh, what I did when I uh, was in the military. So I'm here to uh, support the uh, Standing Rock uh, Indigenous people, and uh, I'm here to uh, stop the Dakota Access Pipeline. Thank you so much. Okay, thank you. Thoughts about why they're marching today? Thoughts about why are marching? Can I ask why you're marching today? Many with Tony. Ho ho! Happy snow day! <laughs> I'll share. Sure. Hey. Else, uh, tell me why you're marching today, please. So, I'm an attorney. I don't feel like the civil rights of these people are being protected. I just think the government standing is incorrect. So I'm out here trying to protect yeah. their rights. Thank Thanks. you, sir. Can I ask you why you're marching today? To protect the water, protect our earth, and in solidarity with Standing Rock. So that's it for our live coverage of the Veterans March. We're going to be heading to the uh, finish to watch the rest of it. And uh, we'll bring more to you tonight on ABTN National News starting at 6 o'clock Eastern, 5 o'clock Central. And we'll have the full story of uh, the end of the march for you tonight. I'm Tom Fenario from Standing Rock, North Dakota. Thank you.